Hey friends, Mike and Jess here. And welcome to Regeneration Nation TV. We just got done watching 1OK Rock, A Mighty Long Fall. This is a acoustic session from the day to night. Yeah, day to night acoustic session. Oh. It was amazing. Yep. Um, definitely go down in the description and our pinned comment. We've got links for their official channel for this original video. It has been a few weeks since we reacted to 1OK Rock. We were dealing with a copyright strike issue on one of our last reactions. So we wanted to wait until that cleared. Mm -hmm. um, thankfully, it's cleared so we can get back to reacting to them. Hopefully, we won't have any troubles going forward. But it's just something kind of you got to deal with here on YouTube and yep. react content. So we're back. We're very thankful to be back. And uh, hopefully, you didn't miss us too much. And if this is your first time here seeing us, we've got a 1OK Rock playlist. We you do. can go get caught up on mm -hmm. all of our other reactions. Let's get into this one, though. Let's do it. is so good i'm loving this uh as as acoustic saw, session but to say as soon as i saw acoustic session i got so excited just because i love the i love the live versions of any of their songs but yeah. when taka gets that intimate slowed down version and we could just hear his voice mm. and it just stands out uh, out of everything it's just so beautiful his voice is incredible it is time is up oh, oh. This might be one of my favorite from them. Mm -hmm. This is so good. This is so intimate and just so, oh man, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. Every single sound is perfect. Every single instrument, the background, yeah. vocals, takas, just this is so good. <laughs> and he, his transition from English to Japanese is mm -hmm. perfect. It is. It's, I don't know what he's saying at all, and I feel the emotion. I feel the gravitas of it. It's, it's perfect, man. Yeah. Get up, 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 get up,
The drummer was on point. Yeah. Wow. They filmed that so well at the beginning of it. When it panned out to the audience, I was like, they're in a, they're in a concert with people I watching. Know. I thought it was like a panned around like dome. Yeah, it, it seemed so intimate Nobody that I thought they there. were in a room. Yeah, yeah I just didn't by think themselves. that anybody was there. And when it did that, I was like, what? It's a concert? Yeah. That was so awesome. I'm glad people were there because it like you seeing that live mm -hmm. special. Yeah. That's something that sticks with you, man. It does. But yeah, I was shocked to see that there was a crowd there. But it didn't feel like that. No, not at all. It was so intimate. I just feel like it was just them in a room. Yeah, definitely. But like you said, the, the way the instruments <clears throat> were, every single sound was so purposeful. Yeah. But because you got such an intimate uh, hearing to it. I don't even know if I said that correctly. But like because it was so isolated in that moment like you could just the crowd could hear was the very guitar. respectful oh yeah to let definitely. the music you know set the mood mm -hmm. and the sound of taka's voice and just yeah. everything with the background singers i feel like everything was so purposeful and it was just like so focused on who was doing what at what time like i don't know how yeah. that, to explain that a lot of their so live beautiful. shows they get the crowd involved you know and that yeah. adds to those songs yeah. and uh, that those are special. I've loved all of those, yeah. but man, this one was very different. They had a crowd there, but I the crowd that. like didn't make a noise until the end, and they just all clapped. Mm -hmm. And it was really the music and the instruments, and Taka's voice and yeah. the background vocals just taking control on this one, and it was mm -hmm. perfect. Yeah. That was one of my favorites for sure. That was so nice. That really was. I just, I have missed One OK Rock yeah. and coming back to them, this was a really good one to come back to because it's, he already hooks you. And then this one was just even more of a hook because you just got that, you felt like you were just in a room with them alone and they were singing yeah. just to you. It was just, I don't know. It was special, man. And I am so intrigued. Okay, I was, I was like, I forgot my thought that I was, I'm like, I'm gonna remember it while we were talking, I know. On the back of his shirt, it said class of 2009. And it yeah. got me very intrigued because our oldest is class of 2028. Did I say 2009 or 2029? You said 2009, but I- I meant to say 2029. 2029. And it intrigued me because that's a year after our son's supposed to graduate in 2028. So I would like to know where that shirt came from. He speaks to the it. younger like, generation, man. Yeah. A lot of people have said this in the comments, comments, but younger kids in Japan, like it's, it's a different time. There's a lot of different things that you have to deal with. And <laughs> that's one thing that's important to them is to kind of- stoke that fire in them i guess you know i'm just using my own words here but try to motivate them and inspire them mm -hmm. because it's a lack of like people used to create so much and people used to not be scared to create and i feel like there's this thing in our generation now and the younger generations where people are scared to create and you just they just have to be told that it's okay yeah to to do so you know mm -hmm. and so artists like one okay rock um I I love that they that's important to them yeah, to it's know, an tell them that it's it's okay mm -hmm. to get out there and and be creative yeah. and and cre you know inspire other people yeah. But, yeah. It, what it tells you so much, especially with this this being another inspirational song, like um, stand up. Yeah, life is gonna be hard. You are gonna make mistakes, but get back up. 
and uh, it is a mighty long fall, but you can get back up from it as well. But just showing that to the generations, like there's a lot of kids nowadays that are watching something and they want to be just like that person or they want to do that thing. And that, that discourages them because once you find out that you can't do exactly what that person that you idolize is doing, you don't try to go out for yourself and figure out what makes you unique and what you can bring to the world and your own uniqueness. And so it kind of like, it's it it puts out their flame that fire that they had they have this passion towards going towards something and then they realize that they that might not be what they're good at but they just kind of like lose it because the world tells them that this is what they should be doing this is what they and i think be a lot of people but. lose sight on the journey that these yeah. people take to get this skilled at something mm -hmm. and right now with social media it just seems like oh it just they just got lucky it's instant, yeah. or they just it's instantly yeah. happening and uh hard work and creativity have kind of taken a backseat to other things. Instant gratification yeah. is a huge thing now. And, uh, yeah, yeah, that was beautiful, though. That was yeah. really beautiful. It was. Make sure you go down in the description, in the pinned comment, follow 1OK Rock. We've got links for their official channel, this original video. Go show them some love, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye, friends. Peace. I'm not scared of your love, so show me.